a hello, a very good Friday, everyone. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, today in the catch-up, I have a great guest. I would say a friend of mine from Susan. Yet yeah, we have somebody from Susan again this time. That's Ulrike Kirchner. Uh, so hey, applause. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll pose a, put all the pictures of uh, clapping hands on it. Hello, Ulrike. How are you doing today? Hi, Emil. I'm doing quite fine. Thank you very much for inviting me to the Friday catch-up. You are very, very welcome. And I invited you because um, I am with Susan now for about seven years. And then I was introduced into the um, uh, Emerging Leaders program. And the way you, uh, well, made me enthusiastic about the whole program. And I'm in the, in the middle of the program now. Uh, it's, it's so great. So I ask you to come into the Friday Ketchup to, to explain to people who are not in the program yet or uh, maybe people that uh, joined it already and uh, want to know um, more of the background. That's why I thought, let's have Ulrike. And you said, yes, I'd like to be in it. <laughs> so can you give a short introduction of yourself to the Friday Catch audience? Sure, happy to. So my name is Uli Kirchner. At least most of people know me as Uli. Mm -hmm. I have a lengthy story with Suze when I, we were just looking at my professional career. However, the last two years I've been joining our talent team where we do focus on developing programs, which you just mentioned, to foster our leadership in development, but also our individual contributors. And therefore, I'm also running the Emerging Academy since last year, where I'm super proud of. I can imagine. I can imagine. And... Um... Like, who's the target group of that uh, Emerging Leader uh, program? So the target group basically is we wanted to give a platform for people who have, of our internal people who have an aspiration to become a leader in their future steps of career. So what we try to achieve is gaining literally immediate readiness for becoming a leader at SUSE. And this is our target population. But I think due to the content, it's very modern, very flexible. We're not only targeting people who want to become ultimately a leader, but also becoming more sophisticated when it's about a, a program manager, a project re uh, manager role, or just a role where you lead with influence on many, many stakeholders. Yeah, I, I might have to interfere here with uh, Joy, uh, who people who watch Fire Catch It regularly saw coming in as this small, but she's not that small anymore, and she's now terrorizing the uh, setup here with. Uh, <laughs> playing with the cables and all the things here. So let's see if we are able to continue <laughs> like this. I'm happy to have a, a little a animal guest here. Yeah. So maybe I'm, I'm also introducing this from my personal side, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm not only a HR professional since quite a while. Um, we have been buying now, 13 years ago, a 400-year-old farmhouse on the countryside um, of Nuremberg. And this keeps us quite busy. <laughs> we have some very, very nice pets. We got for wedding to mini pigs. They're yeah. not mini at all. But um, also having lots of animals around and I just enjoy it. So I'm quite happy she's around. Yeah, she, yeah I'm happy as well. Only thing is, can be sometimes a little bit uh, uh, distracting, or uh, she can simply just uh, quit the connection uh, by pulling off uh, wires and stuff. But we have, you know, with Lucky as well. We have Lucky in the show sometimes as well. Lucky, here, come here. She might be able to come. Let's see if That's she's uh, she's coming. Hey, um, we listened in the opening to David Bowie, and uh, the song is called Starman. You picked that song. Can you uh, tell us why you picked that song? To be fair, Emil, I felt quite pressured in nailing down a song, which is really <laughs> important to me, right? Because I'm, I'm listening to all sorts of music and I feel very inspired because what music does with me, it really gives me good energy, good atmosphere. And for instance, when I'm out in the garden, I love to hear loud music around and giving the neighbors also a flavor. <laughs> but I think why I picked David Bowie mm. is, and it's just really an example. I think he was a genius. I think his his music is, is still so timeless. So the song itself was published, I guess, in the early 70s. And I still it's still so nice, right? You just can easily listen. It's, it is so meaningful. It's triggering curiosity, which I also like a lot yeah. personally and also business-wise, right? 
So I yeah. think this was the reason for the choice. However, I could nail you a list of hundred hundred <laughs> songs which really driving me across my life so far. Yeah, yeah. Well, the same for me. Uh, I also, if the people ask me to pick one song, it's very difficult. But sometimes, uh, if you're in a certain mood, a certain song comes along with it, right? Indeed. That's for me. Totally agree. Yeah. Hey, um, and uh, I always ask my Friday Catch-up audience to come with a, a recommendation to do something over the weekend, uh, something away from work, uh, possibly. And um, you came with a uh, book. Uh, leaders eat last. Um, can you explain us why we should spend uh, this weekend uh, reading your book? It will be a quite a lengthy answer, I guess. So, <laughs> as I mentioned, I'm focusing recently very a lot on leadership development, which ultimately leads to helping the organization to develop, right? And SUSE is growing rapidly and we bring so many new leaders on board. We have these fantastic internal programs where we foster them. And in the modern world, it's not only about being a classical people leader. I think mm -hmm. all of us have pieces where we lead something, right? Mm -hmm. And I think what what Simon achieved in this book, and I'm a big fan of him, he, he really drives theories of servant leadership, people, um, understanding themselves as leaders to enable and foster their teams and why it's so important to foster on team collaboration. And I thought it's, it might be a nice read, especially as spring is not there yet. You still <laughs> might want to spend some cozy time reading a good book. And I love this read. It's really inspirational and giving you great modern perspectives on leadership. Yeah. in all regards and this is also something why I, why I do like to work at SUSE collaboration and people at first and it's so important that we collaborate properly right Absolutely. and that we have great leaders um, helping us get this going yeah. so I think it should be a good read but I would be also curious about some feedback what people all right. have been taken out of it um, but I definitely recommend to read do you know if it's also available as an audio book? Because I it is. yeah, it is okay, good. Because I don't uh, yeah, I don't prioritize enough to actually open a book only in holidays and then long holidays and then even after a long holiday, I'm halfway through a, a, a an actual book and then work starts again. I don't come to it, but um, with my uh, wireless ears, uh, the earbuds, I, I do get to. Uh, listen to a lot of podcasts and um, some recommendations from uh, people from the from the Friday catch up actually. It's cool that you're saying this because there's also some podcasts available of him. He has oh. a fantastic LinkedIn channel with with short inspiration which oh. he drops constantly. So also this I can definitely recommend as a source for inspiration. All right. Well, I put the link underneath here. So mm -hmm. I'll put it right there. And um, uh, you actually said uh, spring is not starting or not started yet, but I was walking the dog earlier and, and she actually, she did listen. She is now here. I, I'm not allowed to touch the, uh, the webcam and the, 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 the monitor and everything because then uh, my director of video gets very uh, uh, upset with me. So I'm, I'm not allowed to touch that. But uh, um, yeah, Lucky is now actually moved here. But we were walking the dog and um, I saw her and a couple of other dogs being very uh, anxious and, and very energetic suddenly. So what's happening? And then a, uh, a duck and young ducklings already came out. So it was, uh, there were already ducklings here in the... Uh, yeah, a little pond here uh, nearby. So um, I think spring is already uh, around the corner. This sounds promising and good. I think for many of us, right, we stayed lots of uh, at home recently. And having yeah. a bit of spring, I think, is lighting us all up. Yeah. And I think we notice immediately what sun does to us, isn't it? That's we right. get so positive. Yeah. And we try to see things from different angles again, having more energy. I really enjoy this time. So yeah. I'm a bit jealous. I haven't seen the ducks, but it's sounding promising. It is certainly, yeah, yeah. Um, well, okay. Um, uh, the video director also asked me to stay within the range of 10 minutes, and we are pretty much there. So uh, I want to thank you very, very much for your time and effort to be in the ketchup uh, with me. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next phase into the Emerging Leader program. So I'll probably see you somewhere next week. Actually, it's during Carnival. Do you reckon 
people uh, around in, in, in who are in the program might be a little bit affected by that. I don't know. Do you think this is a good shout, Amy? Maybe we can make out something. And yes, I am so glad having you on the program. I really enjoy the collaboration with you. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be with you today. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right, thank you very much everyone for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or a heart or something, because uh, um, then we actually can see feedback. And if you have questions or feedback on the book uh, slash audio book that uh, Uli uh, recommended to us, uh, Leaders Eat Last, uh, then uh, put it in the comments as well. Um, yeah, see you next week. Um, have a good weekend. And thanks for your attention. Go back to David Bowie and Starman. Bye bye, Yuli. Bye bye.